Hello everyone, welcome to the Destiny 2 beta. Now I've just completed the opening sequence of the game, which is a single player portion. It's where the the tower falls and it's all pretty bleak and um, everything's destroyed, which is pretty cool. Um, I like the fact that they're going with the fact that the Guardians got destroyed, the everything basically got destroyed and they're saying now it's a world without light so it's going to be pretty interesting as to what happens after that um hopefully the single player portion of the game is a lot more fleshed out this time because destiny 1 had a major issue where it was very bare bones at the start um it's quite like a lot of games nowadays actually they're pretty bare bones at the start and then they flesh them out with dlc which isn't the best practice to perform as obviously we have to play, pay a lot of money for these DLCs. In the case of Destiny 1, it was a lot of money. The Taken King, I believe, was about 40 quid when it first came out. So that was pretty drastic, almost as much as the base game. But Destiny 1, gameplay-wise, Bungie always nail it. Exactly the same here with Destiny 2 so far. Um, I think it's very similar to Destiny 1, obviously. But... Gameplay wise it's still as solid as it can be on the beta you're thrown in with a level 20 titan or the other two classes warlock or what's the other one can't remember <laughs> but you can select your class you're given level 20 straight away with 200 power you get you can choose between four different weapons and then two power weapons a grenade launcher or a shotgun and you complete the single player portion then you're thrown into this screen here and it appears that you've got what well, you got four options one of them is pre-order the pre-order the game which is very nice September the 6th is a launch date then you got the strike which is the cooperative called the inverted spire and then you got two different crucibles one of them is the control match type on the Endless Flail, and the other one is the countdown match type on the Midtown map. I'm going to go ahead and do this just to show you the bit of the beta. If you haven't been able to get your hands on it, we're evaluating Guardians right now. So this is all pretty samey samey. Ship, matchmaking, and then into the little fly in. They did promise that you can do it on the fly without having to go on your ship. Obviously, this isn't a thing on the beta. And another thing that was quite worrying is that they actually gave a list of bugs that you will probably encounter during your time with the beta. A little bit concerning considering this is coming out in just over a month's time. Um, I always have full faith in Bungie. They made the Halo games are absolutely brilliant, the ones they made. Destiny 1 towards the end of it it was really really good um, I didn't invest too much time into it myself simply because I got it on launch and I was like I completed the whole thing in a few days and then I was just like meh but here we are right, what are we doing a friendly note the red legion appear to have torn apart the planet surface that okay. sounds like a job for us the red legion are the people that attack the tower and I don't know what the hell is going on right now because it's the minigun. Who, we sh who are you shooting at? As you can see, graphics, I, I wouldn't say there's any improvement on them. Gunplay is very similar. Which is, which is a good thing. The gunplay in Destiny was top notch. Bungie really know how to do their gunplay. They shoot you in the face or the back of the head. Uh, what are you robot dudes? This guy's got a shield. Let's try and saw him out. He ain't really up for dying right now, which is a bit of a shame. There we go. Some sort of droidy enemies. 
Like, you're really annoying me now. There you go. There goes his shield. And there goes his life. Just gonna hack the shit out of that. We'll probably have waves of enemies coming. Oh no, press forward now. Oh, a bit of platforming going on here. It's a big waterfall. Can we stop and No, we can't stop. We got things to kill. So as far as I remember, a strike is about 30 minutes long. So I probably won't sit here and play for 30 minutes. Simply because you don't want to see 30 minutes of Destiny 2 beta footage. You know, my main concern is that this game is going to be far too similar to Destiny 1. Which I don't really understand because they were going for the MMO sort of thing and they still are. Like you can see in the menus, this is terrible shooting by the way. Ignore that shooting. I've run out of bullets. Yeah, they were going for the MMO sort of thing with Destiny and they said about this 10 year plan. And my understanding would have been that they would have just kept the same game and kept doing the expansion packs. You know, if they can get away with charging £40 for an expansion pack, there's absolutely no reason to make a second game. In my personal opinion, you could have just done this as a the next huge expansion pack and you could have charged £40-£50 for it. And you can throw in the updates of all the, the new features that you were going to put in. Because I did see it did seem that they were going for the MMO route for this game, so it's a bit strange that a Destiny 2 is coming out. What was it? Two or three years after the original one, so it hasn't been. It's not like Call of Duty level, but it's still pretty strange. And even though I've only played the beta, what an hour, maybe. Um, it does do. Um, there's a there's an enemy boss down there. Okay, we'll shoot. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't seem to me that so much has changed in order to make a sequel to a MMO light. I guess is what it, what Destiny is. But we shall see. Obviously this is just a beta, this is not the full game. There is a minimalistic amount of content in this beta as well. Which is quite strange. Obviously I read somewhere that the hub world, the farm is in this now, but I, I can't seem to access that at all. Which is quite annoying here. That will help me revive some of my health. I'm supercharged. Right, out of the way, teammates. Press forward. Yeah, so the, the menus are all the same. It's still got this. This I don't like. I don't like the fact that this cursor is here. You know, you primarily make your game for console. This will be coming out on the PC at some point. Um, let's not hope it's a, like a GTA some point. But... Yeah, the mess of thing works in this game because of its mainly console player base. And I always found that quite frustrating, especially in the first one. I thought it was pretty dumb having that there. 
revive him. There you go, mate. I think the PC version will definitely be far superior, obviously. Hopefully we'll get 60 frames per second on that. And... This is running at 30, and I believe the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro version only run at 30 frames per second as well. Um, I'm currently playing it on the Xbox One S. Um, I should have really played it on my PS4 Pro, but... You know, I just turned on the Xbox and saw it. I just loaded it. Don't really turn on my PlayStation much, but that hasn't got anything to do with Destiny 2. And um, I believe it's got exclusive content on the PlayStation as well, so just pretty shit. I hate exclusive stuff. I think it's bad for everyone that things get exclusive DLC on certain platforms and whatnot. I was majorly disappointed when I heard that Red Dead Redemption 2 was going to have that. Not that it really affects me, I could just buy it on the PlayStation, you know, but... Um, you're, a, you're a flying thing. I'm not even going to shoot you because... There's an animal here. Just fall down a cave? Oh, hello mate, how you doing? Let me variety is a bit, a bit better already, you know, normally you do a strike and you just got one type of enemy, it was the, what was it, the Fallen on Destiny 1 that was the, the main enemy, I believe it was the Fallen, but we're getting Red Legion, we're getting these robots that look like they should be in Star Wars, and then we're getting the Beasts. Okay, now we got a load of Red Legion again. The big dudes. Why isn't my shield working? Dunno. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to show you the Crucible because number one, I did Destiny 1. I was bad in the crucible and no one wants to watch someone die over and over again if you want to watch crucible then go ahead and search someone else who's actually plays multiplayer shooters quite often you'll get a lot more content there but pve wise i i really hope this is going to succeed i'm very very skeptical about it i probably won't buy it on launch until I find out whether the single player and cooperative portion of the game is worth it. And I would recommend a bit of caution simply because the state that Destiny 1 launched in, you know, you you want to hope that they learn from their mistakes, so to say, but you never know because you have to remember this game is published by Activision, which means that they want your money. And they want to add microtransactions, probably. And they want to sell you as much DLC as possible, probably. That's just how Activision operate. Which is really shit. Um, Bungie should have chose a much better publisher for their new game but you know Activision give them the money so can't really complain too much can they or they get about 500 million for destiny I don't know I just interacted with something there reorientate the trans is it system is this something I can go through or is this going to Oh yeah. Tell me on. This looks like it can be used, no? I think they want their drill back. 
Right, so... 15 minutes of Destiny 2 beta, I think, is more than enough. What, so what do I think about it? It's Gameplay-wise, absolutely amazing. Bungie always nail their gameplay. Um, if you're looking for a good, solid PvE cooperative game, then I would say hold out on the pre-order. I'd say hold out on the pre-order anyway, because pre-ordering games is absent. You know, you can buy it on day one if you read a review and you say, yeah, I think that's good. I'm just going to jump down here. I think this is where I'm going to go. Yeah, but I think the pre-order culture that we're currently in is pretty damn ridiculous, simply because you can now buy a game digitally and have it instantly on your library. So pre-ordering is not really necessary. They try and give you incense. Right? I can't think of the word. Like make you think oh I'm dead. Make you think that pre-ordering is gonna give you a bonus, but then that bonus normally gets released like a month or two later anyway. And you won't be paying any extra for it, so be sure to stay tuned with Destiny 2, but still hold off, I would say. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.